Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be transforming this ordinary uh, island that comes with a comes with inside of most uh, mobile homes. You know, single wide or double wide. They're not built very well. Uh, they're built kind of crappy. As you can see the trim pieces break off. Uh, what we're going to be doing is adding some Wayne's coat to the bottom and then trimming around the edges of it with a kind of a thick trim. This is going to be a pretty cheap way to make it look better. And uh, the wings coat, once it's secured and trimmed out, uh, should look a lot better. And then it'll be painted as well. And then the uh, trim should give it a nice look. So without further ado, let's get started. So thanks for joining me under my kitchen. Alan. So the way we're going to um, install the wainscot is we're going to probably put some finishing screws around the edge of it. Maybe some drywall screws. You could use anything. You probably could even use finishing nails. And maybe even uh, glue on the back if you wanted to. There's different ways to do it. Just, that's just how I'm going to do it. I'm trying to make it cheap and easy as I can. Then I'm going to go around. I got this, uh, I believe it's a uh, one by three trim. I got from Lowe's. It's like a dollar. I don't know, maybe two dollars a piece. Uh, it's not really made for this, but I'm trying to be cheap, and I'm going to paint it anyway, so it should look fine when it's done. So I'm going to run a, run a piece along the top, and then I'm going to run a piece, you know, down at the bottom, like so, and then on the corners. And I might have put a, a piece in the middle. I'm not sure yet. Depends how it looks um, when I'm done. But I'm going to get these pieces cut out, and then we'll start putting everything together. All right, so I've got my end piece cut out. I'll show you kind of how I did this. So before I was putting this board up, I accounted for the the width of, or the thickness of the uh, wainscot panel, as well as the trim piece I've got, the board here. That way, whenever it's mounted up, it'll be flush. You can see it's pretty flat. I'm just gonna caulk that gap there, the seam right here. And then, paint over and it should be a pretty smooth finish and then I'm uh, on this side I hadn't quite decided how I'm going to do the, the bottom down here um, I'll the trim right there uh, of course I'll run a piece across the bottom you know across here but I'm not quite sure how, what I'm gonna do right here I'll probably just make a, a right angle and then put a trim piece here I left this a little bit shy um, you know from the end and when I, when I put my trim piece here, it'll be the thickness of this wainscot, a gap there, then I'm just gonna uh, put some caulking in between the uh, trim piece and that, and that should give it a pretty smooth finish. If I ran this all the way to the end, I couldn't really have um, had a smooth, a smooth finish that I would've, uh, would've liked, so that's why I did that. So now I'm gonna put this up and see how it comes out. On this side of the island, there's a plug-in. So what you got to do is you have to, um, first thing you have to do, you want to do is remove your, your cover. And you don't want to cut the, uh, touch the inside of the plug-in. Cause you know, I would, I'd recommend cutting the power off. This is what I've done. So then you want to line your, you can uh, do it a couple different ways. You can line your paneling up. 
so just to give you an idea of where you need to cut out at you just mark it or you can um, measure from floor up measure you know over and then get your your shape and cut out then so what i'm going to do is just mark um, since it'll fit here i'm just going to mark where it needs to go just a rough cut out between those two lines and then after that i'm going to uh, just measure over and cut out my the shape i need i'll have to uh, measure the distance here and then translate that to this and then i should um cut it out i'll show you guys how to cut it out in just a second all right so i've got my um light socket marked out so what i'm gonna do easiest way to start your cuts get a drill make sure you got a hole on a couple of the corners That'll allow you to get your uh, sawzall blade. And I'll cut that out pretty easy. Can I do that? Not right now. You need to do it. Fine. Quiet, it's recording. Keep it right there, honey. I got the uh, outside pretty much wrapped up as you can see um, get my little dog out of the way we uh, we distressed it a little bit in some areas and what we're gonna start doing now you see how we painted it and distressed the doors too as you can see we got to uh, go in under here and take out some screws to hold the top on in order to make um get ready to put the uh the other top i have to put on the countertop or the uh, island i mean so i got the uh top of the island off you can see how they make these things they're real cheap in these little strips um so i might redo some of this stuff to make it a little bit stronger the uh outside shell we put on it's kind of like an exoskeleton so it made it actually pretty strong it's holding its own shape by itself without the top on it pretty well but i just want to give you guys an idea what it looked like on the inside so this is the back side of my uh, countertop that's not what it's going to look like it's just i was experimenting with some uh, stains anyway what i did was i marked the middle of the countertop and then i marked the middle of the cabinet I did the same thing on the sides here and that way I can line it up and then adjust as needed to make it look right and that's just um, probably the easiest way to you know just go ahead and mark it before you put it up there and then that'll give you some, some, kind of a reference to go by then you can adjust it based on that how much you want to overhang around the sides and everything so I don't know if you can see the light in here or not um, but I've got the countertop on and I've got it adjusted all the way around the edges like I like it I didn't do any extra support in here because of the, uh, the outside edge, the exoskeleton um, actually gives a lot of support. And the uh, trim pieces at the top here, I've actually, I actually screwed into those whenever I was installing those trim pieces on the outside. So it would be more trouble than it's worth to take those off and redo them. So I'm just going to um, just screw it on through this, the piece that was already there like it is already. And I think it'll be perfectly fine to do that. Well, first of all, 
I got this called the Blaze Coat, got it from Lowe's. Um, I don't remember how much it was, probably 50, 60 bucks. Um, it basically says to pour these out into clean containers, separate from these, and then pour this, these two evenly into a uh, gallon container. I don't have a gallon container. I've got this uh, water jug, basically cut the top off of it. And I don't have any other small containers, so I think these are clean enough, so I'm just gonna pour it all in here and do it that way. And it says to put part A in first. That's the uh, clear one. Does a stir for six minutes. All right, so I got it mixed up real good. Um, now basically we're just uh, gonna pour it on the table.
now and just wait for it to dry.